All right. So, what time did you guys wake up? Is it seven thirty like every single day? Five forty-five. I am Mandy. I am currently a software engineer in San Francisco, and I started coding when I was seventeen. Just a bit older than when you guys are right now, so you guys are great head start right now. Um, I call myself a San Francisco native. I've been living here for 16 years. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about how I got to where I am when where I started. I was 17, I learned to build my first app. <laughs> and the idea was that you would go on the street, you would be able to grab your phone, open the app, and take a picture of any shoe, and it will be able to tell you what shoe it is. How, do you, how hard do you think it is to identify and like match what shoes this Very is? Hard. It is actually really hard. And I was 17, I didn't know, obviously. That was my first coding experience. But So that's where I started, and that's similar to where you guys started right now. You might be building apps that are very simple, that solve like something that's really simple or like you have this really wild idea that you might not exactly have enough coding skills to do yet. After I kind of looked at what coding allows me to do, so for example like an app like Shugo, it's, it might look really simple but then underlying like you have to look into all of the things like maybe you have to think about artificial intelligence, maybe you have to think about a lot of the image processing things that go into this big app, right? So, so coding is like this thing that you do every day, you type these letters, that's like the actual coding part, right? But you can see in your phones, in your computers, all of those apps, all of the apps, all of the websites that you use every single day, they're built by code, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So for me, coding is really a tool. Just like kind of you think about your, some of you, most of you might be bilingual, right? So you know English, you know Chinese. There are two different ways to express, there are two different tools to help you express whatever you wanna say. So what does this help us do? This helps build things that I care about. So why do I love coding? Is that coding is so, it allows you to do so much, so many different things that allows you to build different apps. So. Let's say, currently I'm a software engineer and I work for a company that has to do with finances. It helps adults manage money. Um, and there are so many different companies like Facebook and Google out there that there are different people who are using coding as a tool to build something that they care about. So if I worked at Facebook, I probably care about social media. I probably care about like people connecting with people. If I worked at, let's say, a bank, I probably care about people who, like, how they manage their money and how they can spend their money. So this is one of the reasons why I love coding is that coding is really a skill that allows me to tap into a lot of different companies, a lot of different products or apps that I can build. Like, I don't need specific knowledge in, like, knowing how to handle my money or, like, I don't need to know how people connect with people. Coding al already allows me to do that. As a software well, engineer, I not, oh, always work in a team um, of kind of like depending on the company, but um, currently I'm in a team of eight people. So I work with those people every single day to build something together. If you imagine your Instagram app, it's not built by one person, right? Every little piece, just like if you think about the top where the sto um, Instagram stories are, that has like a whole team of maybe like 100 people building behind that because there's so many little pieces that go into it. Um, and another reason why I love coding is it really allows me to do a lot of logical thinking and I'm solving a problem. So for example, um, I help people, I build apps to help people manage money. That's like the problem that I'm essentially helping to solve. So, so that sounds interesting, right? Right now I am a software engineer, ah, nice. Um, but like how did I actually get from when I was 17 when I started an app inventor and getting to where I am today, building like real life apps that you use every day. Maybe not you guys, but people. Um, so I made a timeline and feel free to stop me if at like any point you wanna know more because I'm gonna breeze through it. 
because you guys are all very sleepy. Okay, so 17, I started coding. And I don't know if you guys have equivalent of like AP classes, but it's advancement placement classes that you could take in high school. <coughs> um, maybe similar to like IB classes. We have a class that I took that was specialized in like learning more about computer science. So like the actual coding, not like the blocks that you drag around, but like actual code that I've written. And in that class, I've built a lot of games like Tic-Tac-Toe and like um, Minesweeper and I've also built Whack-A-Mole. I don't know if you guys still remember that game. And then so I went into Berkeley for a computer science major and eventually interning at these two places um, as a software engineer in the summertime um, in between. So I have solutions you guys might not know, but it, they're more like a server company. Um, but Open Table, you guys might have heard of, it's restaurant reservations, maybe. Maybe your parents use it, who knows. Anyway, so I interned at Open Table um, as well, and then I graduated. And then I made a pun on my cap. Get it? No? Yeah, no. I get it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> so I graduated, and then this brings me to first code. This is why I'm here. This is how they know me and how I know them. It's because I was actually a coding instructor in 2016. So yeah, I taught coding because then it was it was like different, right? I was like for my real job, I actually code, but then at the same time, I can go in and kind of teach people who are much younger. Um, and that was an interesting experience. I lived abroad. Obviously, I said I was I live here, so then I was in Hong Kong for the summer and I lived by myself. And that was really interesting experience. You guys are too young to do this, but when you're get, you get into college, like you kind of have the experience of like living by yourself, and like it's really exciting. Um, and then after that, I went to work at Amazon. Um, that was my first like real job, and that was interesting. And I I learned a lot. The things that you learn at a company like Amazon is like you learn about how to handle all the all of those people. Like you can imagine maybe 100,000 people clicking the buy button in the cart at the same time. Like how do you handle that? And then I left recently. Um, I was there for two and a half years, learned a lot, and I thought it was time to move on to learn something new. So that's where I work right now. And it's, it's a much smaller team. We're about 200 people. So it's a much smaller team, but at the same time, things I'm learning are very different so you can kind of imagine after you come out with a CS degree like you can work at a lot of different companies you could you know work on different products and this goes back to the problem that I'm helping to solve coding helps me build products for a product that I care about for a cause that I care about so so there are different companies that I can jump to just with the skills of coding coding is a versatile like you can go anywhere and it's just whatever product or like whatever company you wanted to work for, coding is like a tool, is what I call it. I don't know, and then now I'm here, I'm talking to you guys, and I don't know what the future is. Um, we'll see, maybe we can catch up in a few years and we'll see where I am. But the only thing I know is that I'm gonna get a dog. <laughs> That's the only thing I know. What a cool That's not my dog. Oh. How I wish that was my dog. Oh. All right, um, so, I'm a software engineer, so that's what I do kind of like my work um, life outside of work. I am here talking to you all, obviously. I do um, talks like this where I kind of kind of just tell you how I got to where I am today and like how this might be something that you can go through. Um, but you guys obviously started much earlier than I did. Um, so you guys have a big advantage. Um, but I do that and then I also talk to people who are maybe a few years younger than me, people who are in college and like maybe they're confused about like computer science and software engineering or like they just want to learn more. And I, so those are kind of things that I do more kind of like outside. Um, and also I do YouTube. This is my other way of like telling people information. So like this journey, like my journey that I shared with you today, that's why I'm recording. This is gonna be on my YouTube channel. How many of you are gonna continue coding after this trip? Maybe? I mean, I was hoping more like everyone. 
<laughs> so, but how? It's something similar to this. You can go take a class. You can learn on your own. Look it up online. If you just Google, I want to learn JavaScript. I'm pretty sure the top three results are gonna point you to something that's good. Um, and then there are other things like, I don't know, major in computer science when you guys get there. Or maybe by the time you guys get to high school, you guys have to actually have classes that teach you computer science, teach you coding. Okay. So now, I'm gonna kind of end here, and I know you guys have a lot of questions that were, maybe you guys have a lot of questions, I don't know. Well, first of all, you have to interview. Um, but I think what brought me here was in college, actually, I did two internships. Um, so that's kind of like a small chunk of like, a, it's like a preview to your real job. And like, usually when you intern, um, they give us like a specific project. It's like maybe I build a really small part of like an app. Um, that will be like what I work on over the summer. So definitely like those internships really helped. And at the same time, like while it helped me get my like, next jobs, it, it really helped me like determine if this is something that I wanted to do. So like internships are really good for like if I wanted to do this as my actual job. I think um, I'm gonna be in coding for at least a while. Um, because it, as I said, like one of the things I enjoy the most is like I get to, like coding is not really, it's just a tool, right? So I might be coding every day, but then what does it mean? Like the things that I'm actually coding, like I'm helping people, right? I think that's essentially what I want to go for is like I want to help people in some way. And I think coding, um, and that's the part that makes me happy um, when I code. It's like, I know that when I finish this feature, I'm gonna help these people, um, no matter, like sometimes I might get stuck, but that's okay, because then we're gonna get over it and have that finished. Are you guys tired? You guys wanna do some jumping jacks? Plank? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 You do no. it. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> okay, so with that, BRB, I'm gonna go yeah. write some code and let you guys do your demos. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.